This video is going to be for the manual muscle test of extensor digitorum brevis and then extensor hallucis brevis. As you can see, we're going to start with the foot planted. So I have the person with their foot flat on the table. And this is trying to take out the dorsiflexion of both extensor digitorum longus and extensor hallucis longus. What we're going to ask our person to do is first by holding down toes 1 and 5, I would like for them to try to extend toes 2, 3, and 4 up off the table. This is going to be the active range of motion for extensor digitorum brevis. As you can see, she's able to lift her toes up off the table. For the brake test, again, I'm going to be resisting the middle and distal sections of those toes due to their insertion into the dorsal digital expansion and asking her to hold her toes up while I'm trying to push them back down towards the table. For five, four, three, two, and one. Good. For this last section, I'm going to hold in that same location and ask for her to lift her toes up off the table, like so. Through all of those tests, we're making sure that this ankle or foot does not pick up or lift up off the table. For extensor hallucis longus, what I'm going to do is hold down toes one, sorry, two through five, and ask for her to pick her big toe up off the table. If possible, for some people, we'd like for them to try to only flex at the metatarsal phalangeal joint and not get as much out of extensor hallucis longus. Again, I'm going to ask for my body to do that one more time. Great. For that reason, trying to leave out extensor hallucis longus, I'm going to be resisting on that proximal phalanx. As she holds her toe up in the air, I'm going to push down on that for five, four, three, two, one, and relax, and now to push all the way up and through that motion. Excellent. The last thing that we need to do is lengthen both of these muscles, and for this process I'm going to bring her leg out. We're not worried about any of the ankle function, so I'm going to hold that, and for extensor digitorum brevis, I'm going to flex toes two through four at the metatarsal phalangeal, the proximal and distal phalangeal joints. This will be the length position for extensor digitorum brevis. Very similar, I'm going to leave that ankle in that same position. I am not going to grab the distal phalanx, but I'm going to focus on that metatarsal phalangeal joint only as we passively flex and lengthen extensor hallucis brevis.